I believe we're ready to start. And look, I actually came prepared this time. Look at this. I actually have the game loaded up beforehand this time. I haven't clicked on to it, so we don't have any game sound right now since I'm clicked off. The moment I click on, it's going to acknowledge that as like space bar. So it's going to load up the game. So that's why I haven't clicked on yet. So it turns out if you wait on this screen, it, is, it doesn't just become like the generic AI like plants and zombies anymore the generic zombies and weeds and why am i getting notifications there anyway it looks like it actually evolves into like a part of my chair just fell off there it actually evolves into like the playable classes and look they've completely destroyed the fence in the front here and it just keeps going like <laughs> this title screen starts getting intense like look at this they start using all their abilities he just placed a drone down they start using like all of the different abilities in their arsenal <laughs> and they just go ham here the fence is completely gone think <laughs> look at this this is what happens when you stay on the title screen whoa that's just floating up there look at that his freaking Stun- whoa, whoa, that's probably not supposed to happen. There's three of them now. The moment I click on the game, we're gonna get- oh, they exploded now. The moment I click on the game, we're gonna get sound again, and it's gonna be loading in, which is still why I haven't clicked on. This engineer is going ham. Look at him with this turret here. Look, he's absolutely annihilating every plant that comes in. Look at this guy. Oh, there's a rose. But, yeah, <laughs> before they even act, he just kills them. Look at this! This title screen gets crazy if you leave it be. If you leave it be for long enough. And then when it seems like when the engineer gets his turret down, he just starts killing everything. Anyway. Yeah, let's click on the game now, I guess. Anyway. You know. Yeah, he's just killing everything. Look at him. Anyway, hello, hello, Cam. And your question before I took off the starting soon screen there. What do you think of the Twitch new overlay? Whatever it's called thing, the new branding that they're doing with Twitch. It's very different looking. Like, it's going to take some getting used to. Like, for the most part, everything still, like, functions the same. All the buttons are where you think that they should be. But there's one big difference that I noticed looking at my channel here. When you're on the page for a channel on Twitch now, it doesn't show how many followers there are. Which... On paper, sounds like a kind of bad idea at first. Because it's like, you literally have to click followers to see how many followers somebody has. And that's like, what the heck, why they take that away? But then you think about it more, and then it's kind of like, streamers are no longer separated into like, these larger streamers that have like, the bazillion followers or whatever, and like, the smaller streamers that have not that many. It's just like, we're all just streamers. But now the... But if we want to take the argument to the other side, now that the follower count is gone, now there's a lot less of a visible immediate reason why somebody might have less viewership. So people who are new to Twitch just coming in and they don't see the follower count for people and just see like, oh, this person has like a thousand viewers and this person has like one view or something like that. Like, man, that one viewer person must really suck. So I feel like that's a bad change. I feel like they should not have taken away the follower account. Like, with the follower account, at least then you could be like, okay, they're probably a new, like, starting out streamer, something like that. Like, they're, like, haven't been doing this for a super long time, something like that. But now that the follower account is gone, everybody just looks like a streamer. And, like, how good they are is even more dependent on, like, the viewer. Like, the view count. Like, that's a way that Twitch determines what content is good and what's bad, is it'll promote the higher viewer streams because Twitch is a company, they need to make money, you know? So, of course, they promote the things that they know are doing well, which is why you always see, like, recommended feeds of, like, all the big streamers or, like, front page full of, like, all the big streamers and never any small ones. Because they're a business. That's what they do. They do that to make money. It makes sense. But now... <laughs> Now it's not just going to be Twitch looking at streams just by the view count. It's going to be even more factored into, like, the viewers' opinions as well, if that makes sense. Like, it was probably already a fact. We have a Week 4's Founder gift. Visit Rux to pick up the Week 4 award. My stream labels here is being weird. And there's also, like, a fruit fly on my TV screen in front of the stream labels. Be gone. Jeez. That's annoying. So I feel like follower count being gone from like the channels unless you actually click on followers is a bad change like i think that's a very very bad change because now more people who are looking for new streamers to watch aren't like new viewers aren't gonna know 
our new Twitch users aren't going to know, hey, I can check this for follower count. And most people aren't going to care to check follower counts for people. They're just going to look at streams and be like, this one has a thousand views and this one's only getting one view. Like, man, this one viewer streamer must suck when that one viewer streamer could be like a super entertaining person. And the thousand viewer person could just be someone that has like a following somewhere else on like Twitter or like some other social media. And naturally just has like a big Twitch channel, even if they themselves are like super boring or something like that. But people are now going to be even more inclined than they were before to just go to the bigger viewer streams rather than the smaller ones. So I think that's a bad change. It's probably good business wise for Twitch, like promoting their bigger streamers and such, because they're a company. That's what you do to make money. You promote what you know is doing well, but I feel like that's going to be a bad change for small streamers. I don't like that. Anyway, here we go. We're in week four now. Let's get to the game. So there's a secret special event launches and the Mount Steep region needs a grizzled hero. Is that you? So, so far, we've only been in the town square when it comes to PvE areas. There was another one that was released in week two, which was the zombie PvE area, which is like this forest that we've never been to because I've been focusing on plants. But now that Mount Steep that I've been meaning to go to this whole time, but never got around to it, turns out wasn't even available until now. So I wouldn't have even been able to if I tried but now there's a second plant PVE area unlocked called Mount Steep and we've almost 100%ed town center we're at like Sundrop Hills we're at like 90% completion we just need 10 medals and that's it that's all we need there so you know we're making stuff hey hey I see you don't think I don't think I don't but yeah so now there's three PVE areas that you can access and I've almost 100%ed one and not touched the other ones. Anyway, there's a week four founder's gift apparently now that week four has started. So let's see what this is here. View inventory. Thank you can fa la la hide thing this until things cool down. Whoa, P of Valiance. Well, joust for honor, for justice, for, oh, dang it. For honor again. And I have no idea what the rest was. Oh, there's a way that you can walk up. I could have done this the whole time instead of jumping up that weird way. Anyway, what's my chompers level at again? Um... Why did it show that? My chomper is at nine. Yeah, so chomper is really close then. And then I do rose. Um, hold on. Let's see this pea shooter here. Let's see this here. So it's just... Oh, so that's one of the full body things. Is what it is. So just like sappy pea. We'll fight. We'll joust for honor, for justice, for honor again. Preferably between nine and five. Nice. I like that. Look at that. And then is there... Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Incredible. So, yeah. I guess you can't do anything with the eyes then there. Oh, weird. I guess that's part of the costume set there. Sure. Look at that. Whoa, look at this. Oh, my goodness. We're a freaking metal knight pea shooter. Oh, my goodness. Isn't this crazy? Anyway. Chomper's the one that we have to finish off, though. I freaking squeaks when he jumps. Anyway, what do... There's a special event going on, it was mentioned. Is that... Maybe in, like, the multiplayer portal or something? Because there's some sort of a special event. Or something. So they released Mount Steep. There was the Week 4 Founders Reward. And there was a special event. The Reinforcements. Um... Playing as a plant in this game must be a pain in the grass. Yeah, it totally is. Hello, tacos. What do you think of the new Twitch? I'm gonna ask that to everybody who stops in today. Um, so Acorn Nightcap, Snapdragon, Space Cadet, 80s Action here on Electric Slide, take to the battlefield in this wacky and fun mode. Okay, so this is the special event that's going on. Apparently it goes on for like five more days then. So I guess I can't play as Chopper here then. Let's see what this event is like. Also, what's with the constant, like, sound in the background, though? <laughs> Sounds almost like a water drop, but like a really, really fast water dripping sound. You hear that? Oh, cut out. Then change on mobile. Oh, you're on mobile right now. It, the, it mostly is just like a different look for everything on PC. But there is one kind of functionality thing that they changed. You can't see the follower count of a streamer unless you hit the followers button. Otherwise, you don't know how many followers they have. It doesn't display on their channel. So yeah, I have to use one of these three. 
So yeah, let's go ahead and use the Snapdragon. We have a new hat. Oh yeah, it's just that. It's just that. Let's say it's like the fireman one. Waiting for players, waiting for three more. Okay, is it like a 2v2 then? Or something? Oh, you can't even shoot until it starts. Soil yourself, a DIY gardening store. I love that store title, you know? Nobody else want to do this event here. No one. Nobody else wants to join me. Speaking of followers, you're 10 away from 500. I am! I'm going to have to do another challenge stream when I get to that. Going to have to do another Undertale Genocide of a Mitch stream against Zans. Also, speaking of, there's so many things coming out soon that I want to stream. Like, here I was in September being like, oh, I'm going to go back to being a Smash streamer, but do like some playthrough stuff on the side. No, there's too many things that came out. I was basically only doing playthrough stuff. Because so many games, like this game, for example, they released the trailer and it's like, oh, by the way, you can play it now. So it was like, what the heck? This came out of nowhere. Next week, Friday, Ghostbusters Remastered comes out on the Switch. And I kind of said I was going to cover that, so I'm obligated to do so. Halfway through the month, um, the freaking Wii Fit Ring thing. What's it called? It's called like Wii Ring Adventure or Wii Fit Ring Adventure or something like that. It comes out on the Switch halfway through October. And that's the game, 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 that's the kind of game that I would never play unless I'm a streamer. And yeah, I'm a streamer and that looks like something that I play. And I always play games on the hardest difficulty whenever I play them on stream. So, you know, I have a bit of a feeling that I might be streaming Ring Fit Adventure or whatever the heck that it's called halfway through October when that comes out. Um, I also have to start a new playthrough in October based on like the poll. Like, a spooky game based on the poll that I made for, like, what spooky game I should do a playthrough of. And it's looking like Soma's probably gonna win. That or Planet Coaster. And if they tie, then I'm just gonna finish off, like, the Ghostbusters Planet Coaster thing that I started all those months ago and never finished. And then do Soma. Because that'd be, like, a good balance of both of those. What's this? 73rd Annual Tip Topiary Festival. Nice. Nice, man. Anyway, and then at the end of the month, Luigi's Mansion 3 is coming out. So, I'm already covering three games right now. Fire Emblem Three Houses, this game, and Link's Awakening. Which hopefully should be done next time I stream it, I'm not sure. <laughs> Lunatic Plus Fit Ring Adventure. If that was a thing, I hear that there's different difficulty modes based on your fitness level, so I know I'd play it on the hardest difficulty. Whatever that is. Look at the poppin' on the chair over there. Anyway, um... I know I'd play it on the hardest difficulty. So I do want to do some fit ring adventure or whatever the heck it's called just because it'd be funny and it seems like something that I'd stream that other guy left. Hello, Primos. What do you think of the new Twitch? If you're on PC, because the new Twitch is like weird. Um, so anyway, we're covering three games right now. Then next week, Friday is Ghostbusters Remastered. And I have to start a new playthrough of a spooky game for October based on the poll. It's probably going to be Soma. And then halfway through the month, Fit Ring Adventure, or whatever the heck it's called, comes out. And then at the end of the month, Luigi's Mansion comes out. And then in November, Pokemon Sword and Shield comes out. So, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of drowning here, man. I'm kind of drowning here. And also, like, I only do challenge games when we reach certain goals, like 500 followers coming up, for example, will be another freaking Undertale Genocide Oven Mitts challenge stream. In fact, I think I, st I keep forgetting to put this oven mitt back in like the freaking cooking drawer upstairs. I still have the oven mitt here. I'm so dumb. But yeah, wait until October and play Ghostbusters for the spooky season. I'm already going to be doing that. I'm already going to be playing through Ghostbusters. And I already made a poll on Discord saying like, whichever one wins this poll is the thing I'm going to be doing a playthrough of in October. As something to do for like spooktember, I guess. So I can't go back on that now. I've already the polls already been live for like a month. I can't t no takesy backsies, as no one's gonna take me seriously <laughs> if I take things back like that. So, you know, I'm kind of bogged down here. But also, I'm like starting to seriously consider doing another 24-hour charity stream in like early November for children's hospitals. Potentially with some other streamers, but I might do a 24-hour one on my own. Okay, this isn't going anywhere. Oh, no, don't quit to Giddy Park, sorry. Um, this isn't going anywhere. Because <laughs> we're not doing this event or whatever the heck. Um, anyway, I was thinking about doing another 24-hour charity stream in early November for this, like, gaming fundraising event thing going on that's meant to, like, fundraise for children's hospitals across North America. 
and potentially getting some other streamers involved. But if I did that, it would probably be the same format as the first 24-hour charity stream, where it's like three challenge events that are three hours each. It'd probably be the same things. It would probably be like Fire Emblem Awakening and Lunatic Plus Classic, um, Undertale Genocide, Oven Mitts, and Skyward Sword with the Wiimote Rifle. Except instead of following that with three hours of Connect games, I'd probably do like three hours of We Fit Ring, whatever the heck adventure, because that's something else to be fit for three hours, I guess. And it's something new and something else to laugh at, you know? And then probably like 12 hours of the time slots. If this is a thing that happens, that's probably the format. Also, did what have I done to the game? I just... We're, the stream's been live for 20 minutes, including the starting screen. So I've been trying to play this for like 15 minutes now. And uh, it's not really working, is it? Oh man. Freaking open. Open season A. Also, I've been toying around with RPG Maker because, you know, making a game for that game making class in university. Speaking of, this weekend, I'm probably going to start doing streams of game development for that. This weekend, like maybe even tomorrow might start doing game development streams because I kind of got to start programming this game <laughs> you know it's probably a good idea there anyway also as I was saying once I do manage to beat Undertale Genocide with Oven Mitts whenever that is then we might have to add a new challenge game but also I was saying when we first started Undertale like in September-ish of last year or something like that, so... <laughs> um, a full year ago now, in that case. Um, I was saying when we first started Undertale, like, I was gonna do Pacifist and then Genocide and then True Pacifist. So once we're done with Genocide as part of the, like, challenge there, then I'm kind of gonna have to add Undertale True Pacifist to the list of things to do. And then I'm gonna have to add Deltarune and now, according to a poll in Discord, I apparently also have to add Astral Chain. I am unbelievably bogged down with games to do right now. But yeah, DVD is so fun right now. Can't play Survivor because of all the spirits. Is there like a spirit event going on or something? I know there's a double blood points thing happening. Um, okay, I guess we're not doing the event. We could always go to the other, the other single player area then. Is what we could do. The other PvE one, or we could go to the zombie one. Like, hold on, what is there supposed to be for this time around? Let's see here. Freaking plants versus zombies battle for neighborville. Like, what's all the stuff that I missed that we can cover? Got to be doing a fit ring adventure, lunatic plus no runes, no dual text, no alchemy run. This sounds like a good plan there. All right, let's see the roadmap here. Hold on. Freaking. Whoa, that guy just teleported away. Um, here we go. So yeah, week one was they added turf takeover, town center, plant PVE region, and then week two they added team vanquish that I covered and weirding wood the zombie PVE region that I haven't covered and we can cover that. Um, there's garden and graveyard ops the PVE mode that was added in week three plus the mix modes I've covered both of those. Now is week four. Apparently this week is the last week to become a founding neighbor. So this week came out. Plant PvE region of Mount Steep and the Reinforcements PvE weekly event. So I tried to go into that and that didn't work. So our options right now basically for new stuff to cover are Mount Steep or the zombie weirding woods. Those are basically the options there. We've covered all plants so far. We could go cover the zombie side. There's a freaking plant in the doghouse. Wait, it's carrots. Nice, man. Like we could keep doing plant stuff. And cover this or we could go cover the zombie area since we haven't done that Since we've done like all plant stuff so far, you know We could actually cover the other side of things here So yeah, that's weirding woods and this one's so I guess there's gonna be two PvE areas for both sides So what's this? So is this one already unlocked or? Is that one going to be unlocked like when the game releases or something like that? This one's just town center. So can both sides go to the town center and then zombies can also go to Weirding Woods and the plants can also go to Mount Steep? Double blood points of Lord Rest of Spiramanes to play DBD right now? 
Jeez, the return of the spirit maids. Look, we got tickets there. Okay, also, we haven't been here that much before. I've covered, like, all plant stuff so far. Like, that's what I've been focusing on. So we haven't actually seen the zombie side. Like, looks like Rux takes both sides. He's over here, too. Trum to two, this is the first time in six quintillion years that I need more time. Yeah, yeah, I need to wait until the game releases. All right, what do we have here? In case of emergency, don't bother me. Get all brains. Yeah, so this is the first time we've been here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I just put all the pylons in there. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of pylons. <laughs> Make it brain. Obey Zomboss. It's all this. Oh, we got some travel stickers. We got a dobo -do bird there. The Z is for Zomboss is a genius. Well then, what's that in there? A weird scroll sticking out? Rux's Emporion. A boss of the month, Zomboss. Oh yeah, I, I must have constructed additional pylons. Oh yeah, definitely. Jeez. Where the heck does this lead? Where's this power cable going? Oh, it just ends. Cool. Cool, man. I really love the running animation for the soldier with the rocket there. And Kate... In case of emergency, break gas. Nice, man. So we've got safety. Stupid accents feel especially tiresome. Yawn. Nice. Is that text? I don't think it is. Look at all the freaking pylons here. No wonder they have so many when they're walking around. So many on their heads. Freaking... And this doesn't- How is it getting electricity if there's nothing, like, leading to it on either side? Also, what's that there? Does it want me to go there? Yeah, this game is actually pretty funny, you right. It definitely is. Unwelcome to Z-Tech Industries. Yeah, there's that. Okay, so you're the prom- Look at the promoting dude over here! So on the other side, it's a pea shooter that promotes you. On this side, it's a free- It's Majestico. And he's dressed up as a unicorn. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I wanted to see if there was like a cutscene there. That's why I turned off my camera. Bye, non-unicorn friend. <laughs> Thanks, Majestico. Oh my goodness gracious. What customization options do I have here? Also, some smart survivor players said, so easy game when you were playing Wraith. So next match you played Huntress and some of your shots were so good that you had to ask yourself, are you hacking? <laughs> Uh, Huntress is one of those characters that's so satisfying to play right, but it's like so hard to do that. Jungle Warrior, Spectrum Hat, change the hat's color to your liking. You can do that. Bald, I don't like bald. Freaking this. There's no green though. Oh, the silver's not bad. Oh, the black isn't either. Okay, we're going with the black. We're going with the black hair. Here we go, look at that. <laughs> Look at that there. Okay, this is just a victory slab thing. Maybe if you had a pure maid in your part, you can recruit Majestico. Easy. That's how you recruit Majestico. Zomboss's obligatory accuracy test. <laughs> That's a freaking crazy name target. Um, can you not destroy it? I love how you can go into the accuracy test machine. This is another freaking crazy Dave right here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. That's actually really neat there. The freaking stuffy crazy Dave. Look at him. Look at how majestic he is. Oh, man. Anyway, what else have we got here? What else is there to see around these parts? Oh, this is the XP machine. For this side. Whoa. I see, I see you're checking out this dance hall. Just so you know, I've got the highest score ever. And lowest score. I'm best in both directions. Step right up if you think you can do better or better worse. Dweeb. <laughs> that's, that's what I'd call people there. Dweeb, there we go. Doesn't seem like he's as majestic as Majestico. Are we playing the vegan zombies? Seems like. Dance hall of obedience. Earn coins for staying alive. Start event by dancing onto the is by stepping onto the dance floor. Um, pattern on the wall indicates which floor dial will electrify. Last one standing wins. What the heck? 
This is a freaking dangerous dance hall. Um, this is some dangerous stuff, isn't it? All right, jumping and ability is disabled, so I just have to run. Oh wait, I have to stay away from that one, so I can't jump. Okay, it's pretty easy so far. Oh man, can I dance though? I can dance. Oh, it's starting to be more tiles. I forget how you can like hotkey the. I forget how to hotkey the. No! Okay, it starts getting fast. Seven rounds survive, new high score, dance hall reward. Hold on. How do you hotkey these things again? Set as favorite. How do I do that? Oh, I think I just have a favorites tab, don't I? Yeah, so that just goes to favorites. That's strategies. Oh, and down is just your first favorite then. Okay. There we go. And <laughs> death by Fortnite dancing. Seems like. Yeah, there you go. Wait, okay, that's just another boss of the month thing. Alright, time for time to show off some dance moves. Okay, it looks like you can't repeat it forever if you're facing different directions. Okay, are they cancelable like Bayo's taunts? Oh no, they're not. I need to not dance then. In that case, I very much need to not dance. Can I cheese this by walking off? No, that's what I figured. Okay, so I can't, you can't even dance on the dance floor to stay alive. It'll screw you over. You can't cancel your taunts. That sucks. Okay, I should probably always stay schmoovin'. Right? Probably. Whoa! Alright, everything's AO good. What next? Did it do that one twice? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's getting a bit faster. Apparently somebody has invited me to play? That? That's weird. Anyway, let's keep... Okay, I can stay here now. Oh, I can hit N. Bam. Whoa! Okay. It looks like the bullet holes I made are still staying there. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, everything's fine. It's starting to get a bit faster. Ah! No! <laughs> you can't run backwards! Oh, man. Dang it, man. Oh, well, I tried. I certainly tried. You gotta give me that much. What have I missed over here? Anything? Just some pipes and stuff in there. You can like almost make it up there, but not quite. Wait, I wonder if I can go onto those pipes. Is this a quick way up? Like I have a rocket jump, but for characters that don't, yeah, that's a quick way up over here then. Okay. Okay then. What the heck? Why? But why though? Oh man. Anyway, um, what else is there here? So yeah, there's switch to plants, changing booth, submarine, travel to weirding woods, and travel to town center. So I guess both sides can go to town center then. I guess that's a PVE area for both sides. But the zombies have the exclusive weirding woods and the plants have the exclusive whatever the peaks are called. Um... Yeah, Z. I may be Canadian, but I don't say Z. Z is like Z E V, you know. All right, let's try going to town center. So let's see what happens when we go there as zombies. Never mind. So I guess this will become available in the future then. In that case, since the game still hasn't like officially released. Okay, let's go to the other. Apparently, this came out in like week two. The Weirding Woods. Come here! I've got a quest. You'd be stupid to take on. Not take on. Yeah, you also say Z, it just sounds better. Just sounds better, man. All right, let's see what this guy says here. <laughs> Why does he have a fish in his mouth? You're like crazy land adventures? I'm not really into land right now. No treason, reason, huh? I'm Sebastian. I used to work in the Z-Tech factory by Naperville's Weirding Woods. Then an invasive plant called Dreadwood showed up. He's real mean. I found this old submarine, not sandwich, and got away. But the other zombies are still there. You have to help my zombie pals hiding in the factory. I haven't heard from them at all. They're my only friends. Well, them and the fish in my mouth. His name is Fishtover. 
Fishtifer, and he's my emotional support fish. We'll root for you. I mean, cheer. Um, Weirding Woods access point to travel to the Weirding Woods region. Yeah, the alphabet's rhyming. Zed does ruin the rhyme, and yeah, this does sound fishy, doesn't it? All right, so yeah, there's 50 medals there as well, looks like. So I have 40 medals in the first plant area. So like we're at 90% completion in the plant area. We haven't started the zombie one yet. So here's the zombie one. So if it goes anything like the plant one, then there's going to be a boss at the end of a few missions. And it looks like there's the same kind of collectibles. There's a few bounties. There's whatever this is. There's three diamond gnomes again. Oh, those were such a pain to get in the first area. 24 regular gnomes. 10 pieces of wood, I guess, and 5 challenges in the battle chest. Oh, the, that battle chest was hard, the later challenges. 50 regular chest, 7 of the ones that need the special thing to go by. And the resources here, instead of tacos, are marshmallows in the woods. So, zombies are trapped by an invasive plant named Dreadwood in the old Z-Tech factory. No one has heard from them in a very long time. Get to the factory to see if they're okay. Yeah, we're gonna be gnome collecting. I collected all the gnomes in the first PvE area with plants, and the diamond gnomes were like the really hard ones to get. Now I'm going to have to do it over again as zombies in a brand new area to explore. I really like this, actually. Like, there's... The main, like, appeal of this game is the fact that it's multiplayer. Is the fact that it's a multiplayer game. So I love the fact that there's so much single-player content like this as well. And that's so good for, like, completionists for getting all this stuff. I really like that. So the boss of this area is going to be Dreadwood then. In the plant area, it was like old school, the disco zombie. And that was a crazy boss fight. That was like one of the craziest boss fights I've played in a long time. All right, so we're going to Weirding Woods now. So we've been covering plants so far. Time to cover some zombie stuff.